Welcome back to Math Mini Lessons. I'm Sarah Fuentes, and in today's lesson, we're going to interpret word problems into equations. Welcome to Lesson 6. Let's jump into today's model, and we're going to use solve to go through the problem. A one-year membership to Metro Gym costs $460. There's a fee of $40 when you join, and the rest is paid monthly. So that's already making me think that $460 includes the $40 fee and whatever we pay every single month for the year. Write an equation to model the situation. Solve for the unknown variable. All right, so let's state the problem. We want to write an equation for the situation, which means we need to translate two expressions. Two things are really happening in this problem. And we're going to solve for the unknown variable. So somewhere in one of the expressions, there will be something we don't know. Let's look at the facts of the problem. We know that the membership is $460 for the entire year, which includes the one-time fee of $40 and the monthly fee, meaning I'm paying the same amount every single month for 12 months. And we don't know what that is. So there it is. That is our unknown. So what's our plan going to be? Well, I know one expression that's happening is the 460. We know that the entire membership equals 460. So that's going to be my first expression. And my second expression is there's a one time fee plus my monthly fee. So 12 times some number plus the $40. So that gives me an idea of how I'm going to take these two expressions and turn them into an equation so we can figure out that unknown. Let's start by translating our plan into an equation. We have 460 as our first expression, and we know that's equal to our $40 one-time fee, so that is a constant, it stands alone, plus our monthly fee, 12x. Why do I use 12? Because there are 12 months in a year. So that's my equation. I'm gonna actually also put that into our final answer, so we don't forget. 460 is equal to 40 plus 12x. Okay, let's go into the rest of the problem now and let's try to figure out what that x stands for. We're gonna start by dealing with this constant number. We're gonna turn it into a zero pair. So instead of positive 40, we're gonna subtract 40. And we're gonna be symmetrical on both sides of the equation and do it to the other side as well. So 420 is equal to 12x. Now to isolate the x, instead of multiplying by 12, we're going to do the inverse to divide by 12. That will give us x on one side. Pick up your calculators and you can do 420 divided by 12 and you will get 35. And so what does that 35 represent? The monthly cost. The monthly fee is 35 dollars that was our unknown so we're going to put that in there but let's also do our check by writing our original equation 460 is equal to 40 plus 12 and this time we're going to put in the 35 we're going to substitute and put that in there and now we're just going to work on simplifying what's on the right we're going to do 12 times 35 Normally, I would just have you do it on a calculator just so you can double check. We'll have it here. 35 times 2 is 70. So 0. 35 times 1 is 35. And see, it does give us 420. So 420 plus 40. And we'll simplify that again. 460 is equal to 40 plus 420. That is 460. So yes, our response is valid. Hit pause so you can jot this down into your notes. Let's do one more model just to make sure we really have it down and so you can see my thinking and how I'm really using solve to translate and then solve. All right, Mr. Cock wants to rent a car, well, rent a truck for a day. The car rental company charges $25 a day and an additional $1.35 per mile. Write an equation to represent this scenario. And if Mr. Cock has to drive 146 miles, 
what is the overall car rental cost? So what are they really asking us? There are two things here. Well, we really want to know how much does the car rental cost if Mr. Cat drives 146 miles and we're going to represent the equation as well. So what do we know? We know that the car company charges $25 a day to rent the car. And we know that there's a fee of $1.35 for every single mile he drives. And we know that he has to drive 146 miles. So there's our information. So what is our plan going to be? We want to figure out, um, figure out how much he pays for driving 146 miles. And that means we're going to multiply 146 by $1.35. So that's how much the mileage alone is going to cost us. Um, and then we're going to add the additional $25 charge. Once we do that, we're going to have the total cost. And that is where our unknown is. So notice that it's the second part of the equation. We have one expression, but not the other. So hit pause for a second so you can jot this down in your notes. And then we're going to go into actually putting our plan into action. Let's start by just making sure that we write the original equation. So that's what they asked us to do first, represent the scenario. And we know the cost, C, well, I'm going to put, I'm going to use C eventually, C, is going to be equal to our one-time fee of $25 a day. And we know he's driving one day, so it's going to stay constant, plus $1.35 per mile. Actually, I want to just write it this way with an M. For miles so that's going to be our equation so i'm going to make sure i put that on my line cost is equal to 25 plus dollar 35 m where m equals miles driven and i'm doing that because i want to be super clear and make sure that my thinking is completely visible. I don't want anyone to have to figure out what I'm thinking, what a number means, what a value means. So I'm gonna be super clear and transparent. Now let's get to the second part. What happens if he drives 146 miles? So our cost C is gonna be equal to 25 plus $1.35 times 146. And we'll use our order of operations, $1.35 times $1.46. If you're using your calculator, you'll get $197.10. And our final step, we can just add those two together and you get $222.10. So the final cost is two 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 ten two hundred twenty two dollars and ten cents if he drives 146 miles all right and let's just do our check just so we also have it and again it's just going back in there and just triple checking our work and just making sure that that makes sense two hundred $22.10 equal to 25 plus $1.35 times 146. And again, it's just taking the extra second to go in and just triple check your work. So take out your calculators again and just double check $1.35 times 146. It is literally just two seconds of your time. And when you do that, you're still going to get 197 your calculator is probably just going to say 0.1 or 1 tenth but we know that's 10 cents plus 25 and we're just bringing this down on the other side and then you can even with your calculator just add again and add 25 to 197 10 and you will get 222 10. and i know it seems redundant i know it seems cumbersome but measure twice cut once there's nothing lost by taking another few seconds to just double check your work, especially when we have a calculator. But there you have it, Math Marbles. Our thinking is super clear to our reader, whether it's a teacher, whether it's someone in another school, they can see our entire process, our plan, and that we've evaluated, given our response, and also checked our work. Let's jot this down into our notes, and I will see you in the next lesson.